Today, I'd like to show you how to use DeepBrain AI. So this is a very popular AI video generator where you can create avatars using other people, or you can create an avatar using yourself and create videos using AI. And now this, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm a real person, this isn't an AI video itself. A lot of people are faking out everyone. And what I'm gonna do is just jump right into the tool itself and show you everything that I've learned, right? So step number one to creating videos in how to use DeepBrain AI is to go to the dashboard. If you need help getting there, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description if you need help getting there. So this is what the dashboard looks like in AI Studios. It's extremely easy to use. And if you click the home button over here on the left, this will show you all of the dashboard. And it's essentially, these are all the features that we can do in DeepBrain AI. There's a lot to be done. But what most people are using this for is to create avatars, right? So let's just take a quick look at a video. I want to show you an example of a video using that using AI to create video of a video that I just made using one of their avatars. And I want to crank up the volume to make sure everyone can hear this because this is really exciting stuff. Let's have a play. Using AI to create videos for social media has been an absolute game changer. Instead of spending hours filming and editing, I isn't that crazy? Like we can use AI to create videos like this. And I'm going to show you how to do it. You should be leveraging AI to do super cool stuff like this. Um, let's go back to the dashboard. This is essentially what we need to be at. the home. Click the home button here, and up here in the right hand corner, there's a couple of different ways we can create videos, right? You can click on new project up here in the right hand corner, or you can go to custom avatar. There's like five different ways to start a video project. And you can click on social media right here. I find that if you're, you know, it kind of depends what you're looking to do. If you're looking to make social media reels, I feel like you should click on the social media section because the UGC avatar styles are a lot better for just general social media. But if you're looking to create more of like a template based avatar video, like something like this one right here, then I would say click on a new project. Let's just quickly look at the social media feature because I'm just blown away by this. If you're a content creator or a business looking to create social media content, this is like super powerful. So, and again, what I've found that if you use the the avatars that have like a special UBC, UGC specific background with it and you don't manipulate the background, the videos just look a lot better. That's just my personal opinion. And by the way, if we haven't met yet, my name's Chris. I'm a full-time content creator. I live and breathe video. I help clients with content. I have like 10 YouTube channels. I'm just obsessed with this stuff. So as you can see here, these are some of the most popular templates down here. And what you can do here is just click on a template that you'd like to see and you can customize it. Like just say here, this is a pretty popular one right here. And then it will just open the template. All you do is click use template right here. And this will open the template for the video to be made. And essentially, you know, we've all seen these videos and all you have to do is kind of go in here and edit everything you know, three AI tools to use for your business. You could title this whatever you want. Let's just title it ways to grow on social media. Then just add that. And what you can do here is you put your script over here in the right hand corner. This is essentially their video editor that you can be um, creating videos with. And it's gonna take a little time to learn, but it's actually pretty simple, right? Up here on the top, uh, we have all the things that we can edit in the video. Over here on the left, we also have more features that we can add and edit. You can add text, captions, media, assets, shapes, and you can add more things down here. This is like the editing timeline, essentially. And this is the music. So this is an all out video editor, essentially. So we need a script for our video here. And what I would do is just go over to ChatGPT and just have it now write me one on ways to grow on social media. And this is just a ChatGPT conversation of it giving me short scripts for reels essentially. So I'll just copy this because it just gave me this. It says, want to grow on social media fast? First, be consistent, show up daily with content that hooks people in the first three seconds. So I'll just copy this. Bring it over here, paste it, and you could, if you wanted to be out the door super quick, all you'd have to do is just click export and this video is sort of ready to go. 
Uh, but we could sit here and talk about the editor. There's a different model. We can change different models here. I can click on what model I want and change the avatar. What's cool about DeepBrain AI is it has a lot of avatars and they're all extremely good. Like most of them are good. I would say like uh, a little piece of advice. I would say that you're going to want to make sure that you match the voice you know, because sometimes you can choose different voiceovers. Like, say if the avatar looks like it has an accent, you should probably choose a voiceover that has an accent. So hopefully that is some good advice because we've had some problems where it doesn't line up while creating these videos in Deep Brain AI. And, you know, the voiceover, um, it's, it's just good to know. So what we'll do here is I'm going to keep this avatar. It looks kind of cool in this background. Um, what I might do is kind of just, like, shrink the size of this, drop and drag it. You know, this kind of has that TikTok feel. I like it. So we're just going to keep it simple. And I'm going to click on export. So export settings over here. All we have to do is choose, if it's 1080, the video quality, and click export. You know, and what I advise you to do once you're in Deep Brain AI is to kind of just whip through some videos and kind of get the feel of it. You know what I mean? Because it will take some time for this to create. Um... That's if you're looking for like like UGC style videos. I just made this one a little bit ago. Let's let's have a watch on this one. This weekend was wild. I randomly booked a cabin with a few friends. No Wi-Fi, no distractions, just nature. We hike. So again, that's you know, it's kind of like what you're looking for. I was just I'm testing some of these. Um, here's another example of like a say if you needed a video that needed like a, a template for work in the corporate space. Here's an example. Let's have a listen. Start your journey to becoming a full-time content creator by setting... Oh, yeah. What I did was I took some uh, some training from a content creator's website, and it'll actually take, like, lessons or articles from website stuff, and it'll make a video using avatars, which is pretty cool. This one is on, actually, how to become a full-time content creator. So, and again, it just uses a template, uses a little avatar video here. Have a listen. Clear and specific goals. Determine your why to stay motivated. And again, if you go past it here, it'll have like different templates and breakdowns. It'll use graphics. It's actually pretty cool. This would be perfect for like the corporate space. I tend, you know, I'm a full-time content creator. We tend not to like use this style of content. But again, I'm not really in the corporate world. You know what I mean? I feel like we're doing different stuff than that. Theme days. This approach ensures a consistent posting schedule. But if you're a business and needing stuff like this, like this is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars of paying influencers. You know, like it has me a little insecure about, you know, myself being a content creator. It's like if people aren't paying for this content, it's kind of going to like some people might lose jobs over this. So let me show you how to create a video in Deep Brain AI just based upon using like the the new project feature starting from just bare scratch. So what you do is go up here in the right hand corner and click on new project, click that button. And it's going to ask you, do you want to do this? Do you want to import a PDF or something? Or do you just want to start using one of our templates? They actually have a lot of templates. So say if you typed in here like training, if you want to do a training module style template video, you could look through all their like their templates. There's tons of training ones. Or what you can do if you don't want to do that, you can just click on new blank project and it's going to open. And this is what it looks like. It's, you know, it's very similar to the last video we were editing because their editor looks the same for all their videos. This is a video just starting from bare scratch. So what I would do is first choose your avatar. And again, you can create your own avatar. You can use theirs. All you do is left click on it and click on the model button over here to change the model. Sometimes things get a little delayed in this browser based editor. So this one is Ian. Let's go ahead and use someone else. Let's use Benjamin. Oh, we don't have that plan. So some of the some of the avatars do come with, you know, like to get on a different, you have to be on a different plan for some of these. All right, let's go with her. She looks pretty cool, right? So then you just have your avatar. You just kind of position it where you want and you could choose the layout of it as well. And to choose the voice, all you do is come over here and choose your voice. This is the original voice. Let's have a listen here. This is Hayden. Hello. I am a virtual human created using Deep Brain TTS technology. If you ask me, that voice doesn't really match it, but that's just me. Hello. Let's have Addison here. Hello. 
I am a virtual human. And just kind of sit here and listen to him. We'll just go with the original just because it is what it is. You can also use your own voice, say if you wanted to create your own avatar. And then you can just add whatever you want in these videos. A lot of times, you know, you want a background of some sort. Um, let's go with this style. We'll click on this image right here. And then we can right click and we want to bring it to the back send backwards so now this is the background of our avatar video then if you want to get fancy you can do all kinds of stuff you can add text you can add shapes you can generate graphics and stuff like that we're not going to get into that nitty-gritty just because it's you know we don't have all day then what we'll do is we'll put a script in here and we'll put this script in here this is about ai creating videos we'll paste the script and you can preview the video one thing about previewing the video here in deep brain and a lot of these ai video generators like this is the fact that it'll generate the video a preview but it won't actually have the mouth like sync up because when you export it that's actually what it's doing so just know that before going into it i sat here like wasting time trying to play the video and it's just like man this thing why can't the voice looks terrible then you just go up here and export your video and that's what it's going to be. What's really cool here is um, it, it doesn't take long to export your videos. So let's take a watch at the video we just created a little bit ago. This weekend was wild. I randomly booked a cabin with a few friends. No Wi-Fi, no distractions, just me. So it sounds pretty realistic, right? I will say what we're doing, a little piece of advice too, is you know some of the AI voices, the timing is a little slow and the time in between sentences. They'll be like, hello, my name's Julie. Welcome to my house. What we do is put that into a video editor and we'll, we'll, we'll trim that up a little bit. Sorry, I couldn't speak there for a second. So trim that up a little bit. That's a little piece of advice. Um, and then what, el what else you can do with Deep Brain AI is you can actually create your own avatar. So if we go ahead and click on the avatar button over here, it says create an avatar. And you can create one of yourself. I've already done this. All you do is click create an avatar. And what you can do here is you can upload a video of yourself talking, make sure it's just clear lighting and such. Or what you can do is record all of this with your webcam. I would advise that you actually get a really good quality camera if you have a crappy webcam, because most webcams are crappy, for being honest. Um, use a good camera, because the AI is only going to be as good as the picture you give it. That's a little piece of advice I've been learning this lesson a little bit the hard way. Because like if the quality of camera sucks, it's not going to learn. And all you do is you can upload it or start recording. It's extremely easy. I'll show you a video that I just created of myself. And the video editor is this exactly the same. All you do is put your script in there and it will essentially read it. Here's one of me. Let's take a listen. This weekend was one for the books. I went to a local food festival just to check it out. Ended up staying all day. So it's pretty decent. As you can see, it's the same background. I'm wearing a different sweatshirt that day. The videos are really high quality. I will say that if you want better results to have really good lighting, if you can shoot this video outside and just get really good lighting on yourself, it actually helps your camera like get a more clear of a picture. So, and it's it works really well. I will say with how dark my office can be, I kind of like that dark aesthetic, that it does it does work really well, guys. So again, this is how to make videos using Deep Brain AI. There's a there's so many features in this tool that I could talk about it for days. Like I said, you can do the custom avatar videos. You can actually do dubbing where you transcribe different videos in different languages. A lot of these AI tools do this now, and I feel like it's almost like a rush for them to just add as many features to these tools as possible, even though a lot of us aren't using them. There's a screen recorder in here. Like I feel like, why is there a screen recorder in here? Don't know, but that's still a cool uh, feature. You can import, what's really cool is you can upload PDFs and files and it'll actually make videos from your files as well. You can do a URL to video as well. Um, there's marketing tools in here, there's AI generators. A lot of people don't know this, but they actually have an image generator, text generator, and video generator as well. I, I have found that the video generator doesn't work the greatest. I'm gonna see if my example's still in here. It is not. Okay, well, it's extremely easy to use. We'll click back here. I can kind of show you how to use it real quick. And again, I apologize. It's kind of just jumping all over the place here, you know, because um, there's not really a perfect way to do these because a lot of these tools like Deep Brain AI, they have so many features that it's like nearly impossible for me to talk about them all. So this is the video generator. 
and all you do is just tell it what to generate and it creates a video. It's a lot like in video AI or even ChatGPT is doing a little bit of this or VO3 by Google. It, it It's pretty good. I would say I have better success with the avatar videos. I feel like that's their specialty and the, the video generators just haven't worked that great for me, but that's my personal experience. And if at any point, guys, you want to check out this tool, you know, like maybe you're on the fence about it. Um, Deep Brain AI is a great tool. I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. What's really cool is you usually get a free trial to try a lot of these AI video generated tools and they work really well. I, I honestly, I've been using these tools and I'm nervous, you know, as being a full-time content creator, but I feel like the best way as a business or just a content creator is to leverage AI. Like we're all nervous about it, taking our jobs and our competitors leveraging it faster than us, but just deep dive into it. You know what I mean? Give it a try, Deep Brain AI. This is my full tutorial beginner guide on how to create videos using Deep Brain AI. Um, I did step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to use Deep Brain AI. Hit me up in the comments. I'm a normal person and I do reply to comments and consider subscribing. I guess without further ado guys, I'll see you in the next one.